The first regional public consultation on the Don Sahong hydropower project took place in Park Se Town of Champasak Province to further the Mekong River Commission's prior consultation process. Our new steam, Kamdi Bunjalun, has the atmosphere there. About 100 people attended the regional public consultation, which was organized by the Mekong River Commission. The meeting served as a forum for experts from Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and Vietnam to share their concerns and pose questions about the proposed 260 megawatt run of river project in the south of Laos. The forum was also open to civil society, non-governmental organizations, research institutes and regional and international organizations. Chief Executive Officer of the MRC Secretariat Hans Gutmann said the purpose of the prior consultation process is not to seek approval for a proposed project. Rather, it is a platform for Cambodia, Thailand and Vietnam as notified countries to raise issues of concern on potential effects the project may have on their territories. Um, if you have a comment, make the comment directly. With technical review and analysis facilitated by the MRC Secretariat. A site visit to Don Sahong was arranged on Thursday the 11th of December so the stakeholders could see the project for themselves and could ask questions of the project staff, experts and the villagers who live near the site. The public consultation is part of the transparency process by which the Lao government can share information about the merits of the hydropower project with all interested parties in the four countries. This, this trip uh, organized by the MRS is part of the prior consultation uh, under the Mekong Agreement 1995. Uh, this is not the first time that uh, the site visit has been organized. This is the third time, uh, but this time is uh, organized by the MRCS, which they have the duty to conduct the uh, prior consultation on the Don Sahong hydropower project. Speaking to our LN TV news team, Lao Ministry of Energy and Mines Policy and Planning Department Director General Dr. Dao Wong Pon Gao said that we have collected information about this project since 2007 notably the issues related to water flow, fish passage and water quality. Uh, before that, there was, uh, we, we organized, each country, each member country organized uh, national uh, consultation in each country and uh, today this is the site visit and tomorrow we will have a regional public consultation meaning that all the stakeholders who are interested uh, to know more or to voice uh, their concern about the project, they can come and then it will be a kind of di dialogue between the uh, all the parties uh, to address the, the uh, legitimate concern of all the parties. This is the, the, uh, the objective of the two days uh, uh, site visit and the uh, regional public consultation organized by the MRCS. Surveys conducted by foreign experts enable us to explain to the participants that everything about the project has done in a scientific manner. The, the uh, part of the project I have been responsible for is the environmental monitoring, the baseline uh, data collection, particularly in relation to fish. And so in that area the project has been very active starting way back in 2009 with uh, baseline data collection around household catch. It is recorded that this is the second time that the MRC has carried out the prior consultation process for a project along the Mekong River in Laos. The first process conducted for the Sanyabuli hydropower project in the north of Laos resulted in important improvements to that project, which is also a run of river scheme that requires no large reservoir. It's also been active in constructing or improving fish passage in selected channels that are designed to compensate for the loss of Husahong as a fish passage in the future if the, if the project goes ahead. So we have been 
uh, developing those fish passages and we've also been developing a monitoring program to provide the evidence if you like that the modifications to the channels that the developer is making that they are successful or if not why not and what more work needs to be done in September 2013 the Lao government submitted the project proposal for Don Sahong hydropower project under the notification process to the MRC Secretariat. It later agreed to put the project under the prior consultation process in a move to alley concerns raised by its neighbours. The six-month prior consultation process will end on January 25, 2015. The Lao PDR is committed to keeping alive the spirit of the 1995 Mekong Agreement which aims to promote comprehensive cooperation for sustainable development in the region.